Ah, uh, speaking about stress, you brought a very good point I want to share with you. You know, as Muslims, we should never worry if we are true Muslims. If we have Iman, Muhammad, look at me. You shouldn't worry. You shouldn't kill yourself with what? What if? What if? What if? Why? Because we are Muslim. We know. Uh, look, Allah has already decided your life. If you are a Muslim, you should already believe Allah has already designed your life. When when you will be born? Who will be your father? Who will be your mother? Who will be your spouse? House, if you're going to marry, if not, and when to die. Done. Just live your life. And turn to Allah to worship. Worship worship God. Okay, that's all. The rest is on Allah. The risk, the food, the, the health, the safety from sickness. Uh, Allah is already has taken care of that. Allah just wants you to worship him. Attend the class like this. Dohr comes, you pray. Asr comes, you pray. On time. Uh, Ramadan comes fast. Zakat time comes. There is a chance for you to have someone help. Hajj, collect some money and go to Hajj. The rest is on Allah. That's all what Allah wants from you. So there is this man who was very sad and started thinking so much about the future of him, his children. So he started becoming down. So Malaika said, Ya Allah. The Malaika, the angels, ask Allah, what is the greatest creation of yours so far? Allah said, The mountains. Look at the mountains. The mountains. Whoa. So the mountains truly are creation of Allah. So he said, Look at the mountains. Then he told them, you think that's the greatest? There is something greater than it. They said, what is it? He said, iron. Look. And he threw iron. Iron is not uh, made on earth. Iron is from the sky. Meteors. Iron is the only uh, mineral that is not made on earth. Every mineral is made on earth, except iron. And the Quran mentioned that in Surah, Surah Al-Hadid. There is a whole surah called iron in the Quran. Why? And Allah says, وَأَنزَلْنَا الْحَدِيدَ We have sand down, nuzul, like Quran. So it's from the sky, meteors. So the iron, look what the iron does to a mountain. It makes tunnels, it opens. Uh, and So really, iron is stronger than rocks. The iron can make holes inside. So they realize, oh, there is another creation of Allah stronger than, than the mountain. What is it? What is it? Iron. Then Allah said, you think iron is strong? There is something stronger. What is it? Fire. Fire means the iron. So he showed them. When the fire touches the iron, the iron melts. Then he said, you think? The fire is strong? No, there is another creation of Allah stronger. He sent the water. The water extinguishes fire. Then he said, you think the, 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 the water is strong? There is another creation stronger than. What is it? The wind. The wind dries the water. Allah sent the wind. It dried the seas, rivers, dams. And they said, no, no. So there is, he said something stronger than the wind the human being he created the human being the human being can protect himself from the mountain from the island from the rocks from the fire from the rain and from the wind then he said there is a stronger creation than the human being what is it something you were about to do just now Tidor. If you think you are strong, Sheikh Zubair, when time to sleep, no matter how much I fight, sleep will make me. So beat me. The sleep beats a human being. Two days ago, a Russian pilot went 40 minutes away from the destination because he slept. He slept for 40 minutes. He found himself far. 
then he has to come back and learn. Imagine I'm going, let's say, to Moscow. I passed Moscow 40 minutes. Yeah, then he came back. So sleep is more powerful. Then Allah created something that even beats sleep. What is it? Stress. Trouble. That's why your question. Stress doesn't let you sleep. No matter how tired you ask, that's why do not stress yourself. Even sleep that beats all of them, there is something that can beat, which is ham. This is why we say, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-hammi wal hazan. Oh Allah, I seek refuge to you from anxiety and self. Anxiety, psychology. When a person cannot sleep, it means there is anxiety. Cannot, he's sleep, uh, sleepless. There is anxiety. That man or that person has a lot of anxiety. And that's not good. They will die if they continue that. They have to sleep. So that the brain rests. So that is speaking about, just to show you, this is why we shouldn't live in anxiety. So how can I shaykh, uh, save my iman? Your iman is very weak. If you trust Allah, you would sleep perfectly and get up and Allah will look after you until you die. So two things we need to be careful of. Dunya, loving it. Using dunya is fine. You have to eat, you have to travel, you have to drive a nice car if you have, but you should not love it. You should not like Ooh. Some people, dunya is more important than even family. Family. You find this man just working, not because he has a big uh, uh, responsibility. No, because he wants more money. He just wants more money. The woman also wants to work. Family is not important for her. And, and many things. The person has a nice business. He doesn't even focus on it. He goes start doing two, three, four businesses. He loses everything. Why? Have one. Give your attention. You will succeed. No. I want to do this business, that business, that business, that business. And then at the end, not knowing that it is Allah who makes people rich or poor. It's not your work. Yeah? Remember that. So that's the first thing we need to learn today. That the day is coming, most people forget about the day of judgment. 